Good morning, friends. It is like a terrible, boring, rainy day outside. So I thought it would be fun to just have a little cozy craft sew with me day. Um, today I'm going to be fulfilling Etsy orders pretty much for the entire morning. So I thought it'd be fun to share the process with you guys. I'm going to be making some of my little mini kitties this morning. I've already embroidered some of them and I just embroidered one more and yeah so for the rest of the morning I'm just gonna be assembling those guys and I think that's it for today we'll see <laughs> but that's like my main goal for the day is to just get these guys done and shipped out so yeah see if I can get these off the embroidery machine. Oops. Um, here's my embroidery machine. Ta -da! I use a Brother P800. Um, I really like her. I used to have several, <laughs> several, um, because I used to sell at conventions, um, 2020. So what? Convention too. Conventions never heard of her. Uh, but anyway, so I used to have several PE 770s because um, when I bought them, they were like the best in terms of like function, price, and ease of like purchase. But I really think this PE 800 is like a great upgrade from the PE 770. So yeah, I'm really happy with my brother PE 800, even though it's literally like the same machine, just like slightly newer, but it has like slight improvements and those slight improvements really make a difference in my workflow. So I love her, but I bought the PE 800, so I'm still like a more part-time thing versus like full-time business. So yeah. Next time I'm definitely going to invest in a better, not better, but like just more efficient embroidery machine, I would say. But for now, I love my PE800. I love her. Okay, so I'm going to head over to my desk, which is literally a foot and a half away from my embroidery machine, because I sew in my bedroom, which you can see my bed right there. Let's make some slushies. So I like to sort of batch my slushies. So I'm going to just cut all these bad boys out. And then put some together and put all the stuff I'm going to sew together and then pack them up and then ship them out. And then that's it. That's the whole process of that. since I started doing conventions, so like, since I was 18. Um, so, these compression gloves, like, really, really help to um, stop the hand cramps. And they mostly only happen when I either am cutting too many things out at once or Honestly, yeah, like if I'm just cutting too many things out at once, so uh, impression goes. These are super cheap, like $8 on Amazon, and they help so much. You wouldn't think that they do because they're like pretty thin, um, but they help so much. So I'm trying to be way better about remembering to use my compression gloves because they help so much. 
and you only get one pair of pants in life. So don't be like me and remember to, uh, if your hands are bothering you, remember to use your compression gloves, please. finish finally stuffing everyone and so we're finally ready to sew these movies up about one o'clock and the post office closes at four I think today so I should be able to get all of these guys shipped out hopefully for house I think
just because I wasn't really happy with the placement, you know, me with love and care and love and care and love and care and extra love and care. So I just, uh, just redid that and now I'm working on another one. Um, I had to put an extra sweater on because it is freezing apartment right now. It's fine. It's fine. All is love. <laughs> yeah, so I have, uh, this one just needs like another two minutes and then I have two more to finish and let's see, it's, oops, it's two o'clock so I should be able to finish these guys before We should have enough time to get these guys some clothes. <laughs> we should have enough time to get these ladies to the post office and get them shipped out to their new homes. Yay! So, I'm gonna stop talking and keep sewing. So if you made it this far, you're getting a little treat. Um, let me know if you want me to do like a standalone packing video. But I basically just wrap each plush in a poly bag. I want each package to feel like the person's opening a present. So I wrap everything in tissue paper. If people order more than one thing, everything gets wrapped in like the same piece of tissue paper just so I'm not wasting too much paper and then everything gets a little thank you sticker. I also like to put a thank you sticker on the outside of the package as well if I remember. Sometimes when I'm in a rush and I forget it, but I do like to do that just because I think it gives such a nice little touch. Um, 
yeah so that's how i package all my orders i think it really just makes everything look so much more special than uh just throwing the plush in a bag that is sort of what i used to do i i've always wrapped plushies in tissue paper but the thank you stickers are something i started doing this year and the poly bags are also something i've started doing this year just because i want to make sure that the plushies are protected from any water damage or any you know just mishaps because i don't trust the post office sorry post office love ya but i don't trust you okay guys love you bye <laughs>